testing, testing, one, two, three. Well, good afternoon, everybody. You see me playing? <laughs> I'm not playing with anything I shouldn't be. But you see me with some Cuban fiber. And you see me with some guy line that doesn't yet have all of the loops in. I put this loop here so, <laughs> so the whole thing doesn't blow away. So I'm just currently putting loops into all of the eight guy lines that come off this new tap. Now, the answer's probably <laughs> in the description or in the title. But if it isn't, can you guess which tarp I don't have, which tarp I've been, you know, talking about in the past, and which tarp I've been wanting to get? And I have finally got around to getting it. So I've nearly put all the loops in. It's quite literally <laughs> a bit behind. I. Uh, You may not recognize this area. I will show you around. So we're back at the uh, Cheddar MLD showroom again, as someone once called it. I haven't done a showroom video around Cheddar for a while. I think last year was probably the last time. So we're back on Cheddar. This is uh, where really where it all started for doing videos for these um, for this channel thing if you go back a very very long way probably five or six years or more then you'll see videos that I made a long long time ago doing one take on my phone and you don't see me at all because basically what I used to do is I used to get my phone hit record and then I would and I'd have everything set up beforehand and then I'd walk around with the phone talking into the phone and do a one take um, video and that was it that's how it all started and then I'd upload from directly from the phone to YouTube in one go and no editing, nothing. So it's certainly come along a long way since then. Well, I do about a long way, but anyway, it's, it's, it's a bit different, but not that much. So anyway, this, this is Cheddar. This is where I do my, it's just a handy place. It's quiet. I don't get loads of people around and it's just very convenient. Okay, so I'm gonna start pitching this and then you can kind of just get guess as to what it's going <laughs> going to be, <laughs> MOD Grace Jewel. And then we'll, you know, we can we can sort of guess what it is. We'll start where you obviously start with any shelter, and that's at the back because that's usually where the wind <laughs> is coming from. So I'm just going to poke my pole in the ground peg that into the ground and then we grab another peg we come around the wind is actually coming I think in this direction here I think yeah so so the front we're gonna have facing this way and the front will peg right next to the camera not looking like too much at the moment is it bear with us from here, it looks like <laughs> it looks like I've hung the laundry out, but I promise you, it's not the laundry. Okay, so we put one peg in there. Okay, now it's starting to take a little bit of shape. So let's peg a few more pegs out.
Well, that's pegged out in a very conventional A-frame. As you can see, Lass is already very comfortable in there. So this is da -da 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 rolling drums. That's got Lassie excited too. So this is the MLD Grace Duo. And I've been, and I've been wanting to uh, try the Grace Duo for a, a long, for a very long time actually. Because I've used the Super Tarp, but of course there's about 20,000 lines on it. And 20,000 pegs and... That's it. And obviously it's uh, you know, a lot going on with the Super Med. And by the time I have added on all those lines and everything, it's surprising, it sort of adds up the weight a bit. And of course I have the Grace, du uh, the Grace Solo, but it's... Uh, and it's well, it's fine. It's it's good. You know, if you want something very small and very light and compact, because the Grace Solo is very very good, and I've used it many many times. Well, not about many many, but I've certainly used it quite a bit. <laughs> but I just wanted something that was in between the Super Mid and the Grace Duo Solo, the Grace Solo, and obviously that's the Grace Duo. So let's just have a little look around here so the front as you can see is angled a tiny tiny bit in other words the front is longer than than this bit <laughs> than this bit down here i was ex my descriptions have not got any better over the years Indeed, I was explaining to uh, Dave in the Gorge Outdoors, uh, the outdoor shop just down here, and I was, uh, he obviously knew what Cuban fibre was anyway, but I was explaining to, explaining to him what Cuban fibre was. And I said, it's two sheets of some kind of material with some sort of crissy crossy material <laughs> in between, which is a correct des description. <laughs> it doesn't quite fill it in completely. The back ridge line is marginally longer than that line there but there's very little in it. There's I must admit I, I was for some reason expecting a cantonary curve on it there, there isn't it looks straight which I think is probably good actually because then that gives you more coverage and if it looks like it's blowing a lot it's because I haven't tightened everything up. So, you know, I can tighten things up more in a minute. I really just wanted to try it at this height just to get a general idea. And I think the next thing to do is to put the inner underneath. The inner is uh, just one I brought from last year. It's the same one I showed you in a video last year, and it's the same one that I use camping at least once or twice last year. So I'm going to put the inner underneath, and then we'll kind of like go from there. I'd like to pitch it a little bit lower as well. Okay, well, this is the same height that I just had it on. So I've not touched the height of the tap. And as you can see, the uh, bivy fits in there very nicely with plenty of coverage on both sides. And I think it's far enough back from the back from the front for cover and then the 
back here. Fits in there just nicely. No matter what I do, I can't get rid of this saggy bit here, which is, I think someone must have been a little bit too generous there because I've got it up tight. Everything's tight, tight there, tight, everything's tight here. I can't get that any tighter. And it's just that one little saggy bit there. <laughs> You could almost do with something sewn on there, like a little hook or something, and then and then just have that coming up to a a bit of cord. I'm not quite sure how easy that is to do, but that would actually improve it a lot and would probably help that issue that I was having with rain getting on here I and mean, then of course when it gets here it it can start to pull and, and get through so I must admit a little hook or something there would be perfect I'm absolutely and utterly not <laughs> a seamstress but if anyone watches and has any ideas let me know maybe one of these little hook things maybe one of these hook things here could just be sewn onto that just as a little tiny tiny addition I I don't know I know me I'll probably never get around to doing it anyway but it's just a little thought but other than that it's really nice and handy. So I just try and pitch the back of the tarp lower and just see what happens. Okay, well that's pitched it a little bit lower. Not a ton lower, but certainly certainly a foot lower at least at the back and I've kept the front the same. So when you look, when you look inside here, this is still almost, not quite at full tilt, but not far off. And it's still hanging quite nicely. So you could, uh, you know, quite easily lower that even more. Okay, and then this is uh, pitched what I would call, either very low or incredibly low. So, in all honesty, unless the wind was really, really strong, I wouldn't pitch like this. Last year I had to pitch like this once, and that was because it was really, really windy. Other than that, just a slight breeze, you can pitch higher. But here I've pitched the back virtually to the ground, as you can see. Maybe not exactly to the ground, but it's, uh, it's certainly very, very low. I don't think much wind would get through that, although I could be wrong. And then I've tried to pitch the front, you know, a little bit higher just to compensate for the back being lower. Obviously if the wind was you know, really, really strong then the, then the front sides you could put angle lower to the ground. So maybe we'll try that in a minute. But pitched like this, the front is still, you know, reasonably high. It's uh, certainly what I would call a, a, 
a storm setting because you say there's certainly not a lot of room at the uh, at the foot end but at a pinch I think you just about get away with it of course if you could pitch the front you know even higher still then in a way that would that would help because the, the height of the front doesn't matter to me the higher the front the, whoop, the higher the front the better one thing I just want to is there any reason does anybody know why you can't thread the pole through this thing here rather than using that thing there because the pole tip only just goes in there only just and if it bumped it could quite easily come out and I'm not comfortable putting it in that point so I'm just curious is there any reason why you can't do it like this is it putting any strain somewhere that it shouldn't be like I said most of the time I wouldn't pitch the pole upside down I would pitch the pole the correct way up as well I think there's just less danger that way as well so we'll just do one more thing and we'll just pitch the fronts lower to the ground okay and that's now got the front much lower so you're really into a storm mode here okay so I guess the question now is how easy is it to get in let's find out now obviously I'm brushing everything I think that's pretty much unavoidable normally I would take my shoes off but Mr. Miss, I can't be bothered now and I'm just going to be exceptionally careful getting in so I think with this setup you'd need a very low mat I think one of those thicker mats I think would be too would be too thick because you'd be you know you'd lose even more height between you and that but you know I could sit here and I can do my cooking here I'm not sure what the angle is let's go back I can do my cooking here or here. Lassie would just about squeeze in somewhere. There's nothing sharp on her, so if she brushed it, it would be fine. She doesn't put her paws or claws out like that, so she'd be okay. So, you know, I know obviously I prefer, you know, the super mid. It's obviously my absolute favourite and you could just use that all year round of course but in the summer you know it's kind of nice to do something you know a little bit different I think if I was out for more than one night <laughs> that might be a bit li <laughs> that might be a bit different but let's see if we can get in so we've made some progress and hook that up there Oof. and that's it we're in and of course you you can't see me now but you know we're in and I'm kind of sitting up okay let's uh And hook it. Ooh. Okay. And that's 
unhooked it. So you can get in, okay. And here at this setting here, this height, this same height, you know, I can, ooh, I can just about, just about sit up. It's, it's not quite sitting up, but it's, <laughs> it's not far off. Like I said, I wouldn't want to be doing too much under here, but like I said, this is just testing, testing me. Anyway, this is just sort of observing, you know, whether this could be livable should you be out in a double tap in a storm. And I think, yes, you probably just about could. It's not going to be as comfortable as a super mid, duo mid, trail star, any of those things, of course. But it's significantly lighter if someone wants, you know, a lot less light, a lot less weight. <laughs> okay, and what I think of it, this is just for you, Alan, because you reminded me last year that I hadn't done something. Okay, so this is obviously inside. That's the top there. <laughs> And this is me lying down here. Now, bearing in mind, there'd actually be less height if I had a sleeping mat. My feet do touch the tap. But again, I wouldn't have shoes on. And again, I would possibly try and maybe extend the walking pole. Because if I could extend the front walking pole, that would actually give me a little bit more height here, I can do the zip up, and you know, there's enough height. I can lean on an arm like that. I'm yeah, okay, my head's touching, but it's inside, it's zipped up, my head's inside. I've got enough height. I don't want enough, but I've got some height for my head. I, didn't, I thought my head was big, but. <laughs> so, yeah, I fit in here quite nicely. And if I put that there, my arm is almost stretched out. And my legs are almost stretched out, not quite, but almost. A slight bend of the knee, but not much. So there's just plenty of length in here. Oh, there's plenty of length. So, and you could bring your head up this end here as much as possible. And, oh, hello. And I have to say it's, uh, if it was really pretty horrible outside, it's not so bad in here. Okay. And of course, if you don't need to do it up, if there aren't too many bugs, then again, you can just lie here. Plenty of room to, to do things under here. Like I said, this is the lowest setting this is just for storms you know you can set it you know you can set it higher than this of course i just wanted to see whether you know you could do that Oof. 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 oh god i'm getting too bloody old for this i think i need a super super med Okay, so, <laughs> so that showed that you can just about get in and out. Shows that it is feasible. So you've had it at high setting, medium setting, and low storm setting. So we'll do one more quick pass. Obviously, if I was pitching it properly, I'd put the peg out, you know. It's the pegs are just shifted because of playing around now. But, uh, 
yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. Very pleased I got this. So hopefully, on my next trip or the trip after, but very, very soon on one of my trips, I will get this out camping. Hopefully, hopefully the weather will be warm and mild enough so I don't have to uh, have it pitched that only Yoda can get in and out. So that is my, I'm not sure I can call it a review. <laughs> That's my rundown. And in case you still haven't figured out what it is yet, of the MLD Grace Duo. Oh, and I nearly forgot. If you enjoyed this video, even if you didn't enjoy this video, <laughs> please hit subscribe, like for more watches, not watches, watches, but for watching uh, other videos in the future. Oh, I just nearly forgot. Just at the very, very end here, I'll just add on briefly, I'll try and do another video at some point um, on, on this try. But I also got the new MLD Cuban Fiber Exodus backpack. And it's really <laughs> very nice. So it's worth looking at. I think it'll be interesting to compare it to the standard or the older, uh, the older version or whatever, you know, whatever it is. So I think this version of the Exodus is the same as this version of the Prophet. It's just that this is taller. So it will be interesting how the width compares between this and then the older version of the Prophet and the older version of the Exodus. So it kind of looks quite narrow so it will be quite interesting just to compare to compare them as to whether my winter sleeping bag will fit in this as easily as it does in the original exodus or the non-cuban fiber exodus any uh, any other bag will, it will easily fit in but my winter sleeping bag it takes up a bit more room so it would be very interesting to see if that will fit in. But as I say, I'll try and do another video on this another time. So I'll just briefly show you around it just to wet your whistle as it were. All right, that's enough of me waffling on. I need to get going as well. It's uh, seven o'clock and I need, I've been here an hour and a half. <laughs> And I need to be heading back and I've got at least 40 minutes to get back to the road and then at least another hour to get back to the car. And I've not packed up and I've not had a cup of tea or anything yet. So it's going to be a later one getting back tonight. But it's been very enjoyable and I've really enjoyed sharing, sharing this with you. And like I said, I will try this, this bivvy and various other ones. And I'll probably concentrate on using this tarp mostly this summer but we'll see like i said i'll try and use some of the other ones you know as well just for the fun of it but you'll probably be seeing a lot more of this one okay so this is one last look of the uh mld grace duo see you all again soon thanks for watching bye bye